Breakdown. Meet the Entron, my homage to 8-bit games and chiptune music, a project and vision I would now like to share with you. The system includes the console, gamepad and keyboard, but yes, original NES controllers works as a charm. In game mode, play your favorite games. Feeling creative? Switch to synth mode and visualize your tunes. The USB port at the back lets you connect gamepads, add games and update your system. After a huge amount of hours drawing and prototyping, the project is now available to download over at Maker World. You'll also find my other project, like my latest, the Arcade Wall Cabin. The project folder includes a 3MF file with all parts pre-arranged and ready for printing. It also contains STL files, giving you the flexibility to cut and prepare them to your liking. While waiting on the prints, deep dive into the documentation. Here you will find wiring diagrams, parts to source and more. Download the IMG file, packed with RetroPy, the audio visualizer and all scripts needed. Cut small pieces of filament and place them in the holes to act as guides. Then apply a strong adhesive as some contact surfaces are quite small. We will use a M Audio Key Station as a donor for the parts we need for our keyboard. For the keybed to fit, you need to trim the plastics a bit. I gradually increase the grit of my sandpaper, starting at 120 and finishing with an 800 grit wet sand. I apply a plastic primer to the keys to help the spray paint adhere better. Let it cure fully before applying thin coats of paint.
Now, it's time to add some red details, such as printed inlays for the stripes and logos. I think these little touches make the whole build pop. I recommend using a multimeter to determine what wire goes to what pin inside the NES cord especially if you not use official ones. Thanks to our donor, we have a simple way to add custom buttons. They can be a bit tricky to fit, but once in place and the lid is secured, they're locked in solid. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. If you're into electronics, custom builds, or just need reliable boards for your projects, PCBWay has you covered. They offer PCB prototyping, assembly, even 3D printing, and CNC machining, all at great prices with fast delivery. So if you want to bring your next ideas to life, check out PCBWay using the link below in the description. The Entron requires 12 volts for the amplifier and 5 volts for the other electronics. So I build a small board to split the 12 volts coming in from the DC adapter. This buck converter will reduce the voltage from 12 to 5 volts. I solder an electrolytic and a ceramic capacitor onto the 5 volt line after the buck converter. The electrolytic helps smooth out larger voltage fluctuations, while the ceramic handles high frequency noise, ensuring clean and stable power for the electronic. The ports for player 1 and 2 share most of their pins on the Raspberry Pi. So I twist those wires together, crimp them, and use a single slot DuPont socket. The only wires that need separate pins are the data lines. Next up is the hot and mode buttons 
together with the LEDs. I use the printed spacers to get the correct distance between the board and panel. At the heart of the entrance sound is the happiness by Twisted Electrons. It's a chiptune inspired synth that recreates the classic 8-bit sound of the NES but with modern controls and flexibility. It features four voices, two squares, one triangle and one drum channel, just like the original hardware. You can sequence melodies, craft rhythms and layer sounds to capture that nostalgic game console vibe or push it further into new creative territory. Be sure to follow the audio wiring diagram closely. The signal splits and gets rerouted several times, and it's easy to miss a step in the process. All done, let's close it up. Okay, let's build the gamepad. It's a fun, satisfying part of the build that involves plenty of soldering. With the shift register, this gamepad works just like an original NES controller. The best part is that it uses the same code I've already built into the provided IMG file. So it's truly plug and play. The gamepad is a fun addition and works well, but I wouldn't exactly trust it in a speedrun marathon. I've included decal files in the project folder if you want to pimp your Antron even further. Check out my Patreon. As a paying member, you will get access to exclusive builds, in-depth videos, project files in step format and basic chat support. And if you like my content, please like and subscribe.